Are you ready for some Counter Strike? Yeah, that's what I like to see, baby. Fnatic taking on Mouse Sports. Inferno on the cards. He's coming it. The rotation should be coming through for Mouse Sports. He has a flash ready to set his teammate up at the back of the site. That's frozen. Waiting in the wings. Fnatic really taking their time with this one. Finally, the Moddy's coming down, and in they go. Yeah, Frozen's been forced out. He's been backed into this corner and bested almost immediately inside of the B bomb site. Mouse Sports immediately throw it in into what is feeling like this three on five retake to kickstart Inferno. Wokstick looks so good the other day and so good now as he doubles up. But this has left Rops all alone. 1v3, Fnatic. They've got the bomb down oh. and Golden is not missing a beat. Pistol round goes the way of the Swedes. We have that force by already coming back in from Mouse Sports, and they're looking to continue the trend that we've seen all season long of these force buys in the second round on Fnatic. You know they're well researched. They're ready for this slow play Ooh. style, but it's actually going to be Fnatic to open this round up with a kill onto Chris J. Now, man advantage going their way. A lot of that pressure that the scout has put on alleviated as they find themselves in this five on four. Crims leaving top mid, but the bomb is there. He's trying to sell this B fake. There's only one player here right now for Mouse Sports, and JW is going to beat Woxic in the head to head. Rops is the trying to come alive oh. down in the pit. And oh my goodness, how has this happened? In the blink of an eye, it's only Crims left. The Deagles might just do it again. There's only seven seconds, Crims. This is too much to ask. And with Deagles, nothing more. Mouse Sports are going to get that first round on the board. Your sights were frozen. He'd even been repositioned back towards A. While Crims is throwing that B fake, Carrigan calls for Mouse Sports to heavy stack on that A site. And the Deagle crossfire finds everything here for Mouse Sports. These slow T side rounds coming back to hurt Fnatic as Crims isn't even given the opportunity. It's actually going to be Brolin taking this initial speak. That they've spotted Chris J, but it's Woxic hidden Ooh. underneath that maybe they should be worried about. He lit them up. And these pistols are not getting anything done for Fnatic. Oh! Wokstick kicks them out the server. Mouse Sports, they're going to get off to the 2-1 start. And they barely break a sweat up against the force by from the Swedes. And now a grim return to reality for Fnatic. They've just got to take an eco in this round. And this should be Mouse Sports, in, in spite of not getting that pistol under their belt, getting off to that 3-1 start here on Inferno. And Woksik, I mean, you love to see it, but he's already gone for the AWP, Harry. And Ace. In the form of Golden. And he's been very good at putting up Ooh. these numbers, but in this round, it's actually Carrigan, the other man with the big brain, rushing down Banana to open oh. things up. Rops has even dealt with this A-side split, and everything's coming up in favor of Mouse Sports. Finally, they managed to deal with Woxic, and he was, for all intents and purposes, the only player defending this A-bomb site. That smoke has locked the rest of the gang off for Mouse. I'll take the four on two retake though. They're very heavily favored, but it's Brolin and Golden left on the other side. You do not want to let these two start to get comfortable, start to find their footing. The utility is doing a great job of harassing Golden inside oh! of this site, but Brolin down in the pit, all dealt with by Frozen, and now down to the 1v1, and Golden holds the line. The two of them from a two versus four all the way down to a round for Fnatic. Advantage situations, especially on the T side, whenever we see Brolin alive in them, you can't help but think Fnatic have a chance. Fnatic, at least in this tournament, they've converted 42% of T side rounds with a man disadvantage, at least four and five early. So, oh dear, it's getting hot for Flusher. Smoke on the logs. Chris J trying to force fights in the apartments, but that's where Brolin comes out on top, and that will be a gun gifted over as well. This is still a bit of a low buy for Fnatic, despite winning that previous round. It did come down to the 1v1. So no money really saved. They might be about to walk into this stack. Molotov goes in. Now the push to follow on the back of it. Flash gets Carrigan off of the angle. They still leave Flusher down at the bottom of Banana. There's still time for Fnatic to change their minds here. And now with Crims getting found, that looks to be the decision from the Swedes. They back away, they give up top mid, oh. they try and rejoin Flusher, but he's already been picked up. 20 seconds, and Fnatic, they've got to go now, or they don't go at all. 20 seconds, Woxic's waiting, and they haven't got a Molotov for this position. Brolin, he's trying to go up, but he's not going to be able to spot him. Info gain, Woxic waiting, and no bomb plant today. Mouse Sport's going to lock in that fourth round. 
Especially important considering in that 2v5 that we just saw Fnatic won, a large reason that they picked it up was there was only actually one man inside of A. Now Sports was set up for a retake and a 4 on 2 that they couldn't close out. Well, in this case, Frozen, he comes in from library, he actually commits to the moto push and gets inside of the site to join his teammates. Mouse Sports sent. And so the fact that he's starting off a little slow could be a great sign for Mouse. Mouse are not starting slow, not in this round. They've pushed Rops down into the bottom of oh. mid, but Brolin is one step ahead. Rops gets picked up, and finally Fnatic starting around with a man advantage. Chris J trying to respond with some apartments aggression and Crims on the other side is just holding this. Fnatic, we've seen them do this time and time again. They get an opener, they go a man up, and then they just hold for almost a painful amount of time. One second in the server is like a century in real life. And Woxic now removed as well. Mouse Sports feeling the pressure. Still with two players over towards this B side of the map and Fnatic now falling back. They just might brain themselves and walk into B where the majority of these Mouse Sports players reside. Yeah, so many of the, these rounds, Mouse Sports have been keen to leave Woxic alone on B or just rotate heavily off of that site. It's been the right call to make in every single time. And now Fnatic, they're expecting more of the same. It couldn't be further from the truth. Chris Chase coming in on rotation. There's everyone here for Mouse Sports. They're still down in a three on five, but this is their best opportunity of picking up the round. Smoke on the model. Frozen gets one, the trade is in though. Carrigan's been spotted and the flash is good. Now Sports losing control of the site. Just Chris left up and the smoke in his face. There's no way he can get back into this round, surely. Bomb has been oh, we know Chris J can work miracles with this. Oh, oh, but this time, Flusher is not going to give him the room to do so. Fnatic in with their third round. Still plenty of cash to invest over on the Mouse Sports side. Tactical paw is actually called in now for Maus. They're going to try and take some time to figure out exactly what's going wrong heading into this next one. They know that they're running out of the money in terms of uh, that little buffer that they once had. Player in the pit, player on the site. Carrigan's moved back in to try and control this long position. Fnatic smoking deep. Isolating Carrigan in this corner. And they know it as well. Crim's being loud about it, but the flash, it blinds both players. Carrigan can't get the kill, and Crim's in with a repeat. He finds his first. Fnatic with an opportunity to split into this B site. Do Mouse Sports realize that they no longer is open for the taking, and Frozen's going to start to watch that spawn. It's all down to Woxic on the site to hold off from this B push. Yeah, that smoke has completely locked Frozen out from B. Woxic, all the pressure is on his shoulders. This man looked good under pressure before, but not when it's Flusher applying. It gets that kill, and now the B bomb site belongs to Fnatic. Frozen trying Whoa. to stop them, but Brolin is not in the mood to slow down right now. Bomb planted, and the remaining two Mouse Sports players so far removed. When there could be anyone or anything around those corners, Fnatic playing things safe on this T side and getting back in the swing of things. Four rounds now. But it might have to do more than ever. Flusher still selling this fake over towards the B side of the map. He's done a good job of keeping both of these players here. Fnatic now, as we approach the 30-second mark, they're going to have to start to make a move. And they hope to get into this Ooh. A bomb site. The first kill found. And now the four on four. Bomb spotted. Mouse Sports, they've got an idea as to what's going on. The shots just have to land, and they've got to follow through. And they can't find the players. Hidden in the pit is Rops. Wox is going to get caught on the site. That's a big kill for JW. He gets tagged up, though. 15 seconds, and Brolin from above gets a crucial frag. Looking to follow up. Carrigan won't allow it. And he will stop JW in his tracks as well. Bomb planted in the meantime, and the retakes on for Mouse Sports, but it's down to one man. Carrigan picked up in the open, and Frozen with no kit in a one on two has to make the long rotation back towards this A site. Is now a long distant memory. This will be the fifth in a row for the Fnatic side. Mouse. We know they've got the resilience. We know they've got that ability to get back into these games later on. Even thinking back to that Astralis matchup yesterday when they were 14-8 down on Dust 2. Giving two Kriegs away can really result in you losing a round. So Fnatic making sure every box is checked. Oh, that's another pick, another advantage. Fnatic keeping up appearances on this T side. They've been so good at getting this first kill. And this might just lead them to yet another round on the T side. Oh dear, Brolin finding Rops through the corner. And it's just getting worse and worse by the second for Mouse Sports. Carrigan, he needs to take matters into his own hands. But that smoke is down and information is denied. Fnatic speeding up the pace towards his A site. 
Yeah, they put a stop to Brolin. That right there is the spearhead of Fnatic removed. Now it's just a stick and it slowed right down. They've gotten out into top mid, frozen on this rotation. Now Sports taking the gamble, rotating everybody towards this A side of the map. And this clash might go down over in top oh. mid, frozen. First man in is stuck on the retreat there, but it's only JW left. Four points of health and Woxic makes quick work of him be won by the team with less players and mouse sports will now find it going to be added to that list as well salvaging one round at the end of the half they've got a chance to 7-8 this one and that would be decent we know Fnatic, Fnatic stronger side is the T side so well this Brolin waiting and oh my JW that is so quick Woxic doesn't even get a chance to react he never sees JW and again Harry I've said it so many times but Fnatic 5 on 4 Oh dear, and Chris J has just moved into position to keep an eye on Boiler, but Brolin, he's straight up bypassed this short hold. Now Chris J will be given another chance here. He sees the shadow, and it's from the shadows that he gets struck down. Crims now out from the balcony, opening the A bomb site. Brolin as well, the man who had gotten up through long earlier on, has dropped all this utility, and that's going to keep Frozen away. Brolin actually looking to hunt this last man and looking to find him to end the half. Doesn't want to give Frozen a chance to even get the ball rolling in this retake. Frozen's had to wait for the smoke. That in and of itself has wasted so much time off the clock for Mouse Sports. This clutch should be impossible. There should be absolutely no way that this man gets back into this. Not with Brolin here. And that is the case. Fnatic, they'll lock in that round. Fnatic, the cavalry is already on its way in. Golden has just got to buy some time for them to work with. Instead, oh, he's trying to play around the smoke. He has to just give up the bomb site. He has to concede this one. And it's going to be a 5v5 retake to decide how this second half starts to shape up. Yeah, deep grenade for Flush and considers it towards a coffin but Mouseballs have gone for a very open plant. That kind of leaves Rops out in the open, hung out to dry and banana with no one coming in on the retake. JW, first contact, can't find a kill. Golden does though, frozen dead, and speeding up inside of the site. Fnatic moving numbers in from the ruins. Woxic, he's done damage, but he's gonna get his head ripped off. And Chris J at the back of Dark with the crossfire from CT. It's perfect, Chris finding everyone. Carrigan joins a tally as well. And that's Mouseballs finding the pistol round in the second half. Gonna be scratching their heads as to how that one falls against them. Some great shots from Chris J here over towards Emo. And him starting to warm up, starting to get into this game, makes it that much more exciting. He is one of the three players on this. Not contesting for this middle area. We have a double uh, short side setup from the Swedes. Crimson Brolin, the top and the bottom performers right now. JW here as well. Molotov in the corner. Mouseball's going to start to move up. And Crims, he has got to do it all on long. That Molly is a bit of a problem for Chris. He's burning in the fire. Flash out near JW's gone big. But Rops is there with a the trade. Crims is spray. Just missing Chris in the corner. But he might go back for more. Oh, I think Chris J might have just overstayed his welcome here. He might have just done it as Crims backs off the angle. In the meantime, this bomb is on the back of Woxic. Alongside him is frozen at this B bomb site. Golden is the lone defender right now. Shuts down the first, tries to duck himself away. Oh dear. Mouse, 15 seconds. Are, are they saving or are they going to attempt this one? It's going to be so close and these kills have got to come in almost immediately. If Mouse want to go for this, you've got to get past Crims and you've got to get past Brolin and inside of the site, that's just not going to happen. They needed the kills immediately. Mao's leaving that one a little too close. They fall prey to oh, the time. No. And oh dear, Woxic getting found after it's expired. That is going to throw this T-side economy into disarray. Thank you very much, Chad. And yeah, I mean, questions being presented for Mouse Sports, but this is a bit of a precarious position to be in if you are on this Mouse Sports roster. That money being lost in the previous round, the AWP going down after time, and that is a pitch perfect one for Fnatic. They won't even choose to save the AWP as well. So that's just how things are turning out right now for the Swedes. They're feeling confident in their rightful ability. Roland's actually now. 
decided to wrap on the back of discovering this themselves. Carrigan gets the oh. info, but he's not ready for Flusher, who is one step ahead on the rotation back through Speedway. Now that they've seen him, they're anticipating, well, this is one of the B players. We've still got a man over in CT. We've still got Woxic there. So we can rotate back ground, and hopefully we find ourselves going in to a slightly weaker B bombsite hold. But with this CT flank getting spotted, Flusher now trying to keep an eye on the back line actually just decides against it. He knows that holding where this bomb is coming from where the bulk of this push resides for Maus is more important and he's gonna have golden with him boost Ooh. on up chris j already strikes Whoa. one from the tally chris has opened up the b-bomb site and for now oh for now it belongs to mouse sports and so much info walks it still in ct spawn he can call that no one's coming here for fanatic mouse sports can set up knowing that there are three cts all in the banana and fanatic and not being quite about it flashes up the top of b and here come the cavalry fanatic a man down but mouse sports not armed for this fight frozen's got a deagle Looking to pick off players from range. Chris is in such a good position. This might be discounted. This not, might not be checked for Fnatic. They have to be very, very aware. And Crims is. He gets that kill. Now the retake's on. As Fnatic get closer and closer. Rops. Another kill from CT. And he's going to go back towards the ruins. Just play that bomb. Fnatic tapping it. But Rops has got another kill. And it's just JW. They know he's not on the defuse. Frozen goes through. And Rops will trade to save the day. That's an eco win for Mouse Sports. Carrigan had a Glock. For Christ's sake, and it won't stop these T's from getting on the board. Gives them so many good results over towards B. And so finally, Maz could look at this and see that some things are actually going their way on this side of the map as well. Now, Fnatic, still with some cash, they're still going to be looking good into this round, but this one. And they're going to go back to it. 35 seconds. Carrigan's still selling this fake. He's out of utility. He can look to make a hero play. The issue is JW's on the other side of that smoke. 30 seconds. And Mouseports wait for no one. They're going right in. Golden can't get anything done on the boost. Carrigan's dead on A. Both entries into B for Mouseports. It's perfect. The bomb plant allowed. And Woxic's already come all the way back down. Banana Fnatic might not expect this position. Oh, Woxic could end this whole round here and now. But instead, it's given Fnatic an avenue back in. They're spurred on by this three-on-three three. they want to give it a go and now they've got frozen chris j and rops to try and get past half the time is ticked off of this bomb that molotov could seal their fate fanatic if they're gonna go they've got to go through it and they're not going to they give this one up mouse sports on the back of the utility they'll get an 11th route they hold that b-bomb site and they deter from that but fanatic from ever even attempting that retake yeah, we know Fnatic's T side was good on this map, but right now, Mouse Sports are one upping it on a huge level. Oh, dear. And this one, Carrigan, fast play up towards top banana, and he just might tear this one from the hands of Fnatic. That first kill picked up so quickly, it goes untraded. There's no chance, Fnatic, they've been used to this slow game from Mouse all map long and finally they pick the pace up it completely blindsides the swedes and they've been struggling enough in the five on fives let alone a 4v5 they lose flusher they've had to commit an extra man towards this side of the map as a result and so now for maus they know the ramifications this is going to have they know the impact this is going to have on this setup for fanatic they bow out of banana and they're going to look for success elsewhere on the map jw has to nail his shots here he's got that awp and it's been a long time coming for fanatic the money finally there and the shot gonna miss he's blinded molly on the corner keeps mouse boards in position that bomb's still not rushing Smoke deep as well towards the library. Mouseports want to move up on this long position. And JW, he's gone back towards the pit, looking for this cart fight towards short. 30 seconds. Mouseports have not got a lot of time here, but that flash is fantastic. JW constantly missing these timings. Carrigan, he's found one of his own. He's made an opportunity happen. Back to the CT spawn. JW gets aggressive, but trade is imminent. Nothing he can do about it. And Carrigan caught by Brolin on that rotation. Big play from Brolin. He's the only man here, and now he's gone. Those rotates are needed for Fnatic, but they might not even be considered. Mouse sports, 10 seconds left, and the bomb plant at the back of the site. Crims and Golden looking to make this work for Fnatic, but surely this is too much to ask. Surely. Frozen over in Boiler. Crims is looking for him. Fnatic, it's not a call they want to make. They don't want to have to save. But that might be the only decision they're given by Mouse Sports. Golden's got to tuck tail and run. 
big performances from guys like Crims, like Flusher, these big clutch moments that we saw all tournament long, because right now, if it's not Brolin, it's not anyone. They nade their way up into top mid. They're already down long. Crims, is he ready for the sheer pace? He's on the angle, and oh, the CZ gets them both. He's looking for a little bit more. Rops, Woxic, done what they can. Missed shot there from Woxic, but Flusher caught out in the open, and this is chaos. This is so back and forth. Bombplant about to come in. Now Sports oh, deal no. with the man at long. And now it's only Golden left to try and deny. Map point to Maus, a 1v2. Now a 1v1 to find. Woxic on the other side. Given a bit of time, that bomb still to go down. Maus Sports, they denied that plant. The pressure mounting here. Woxic looking for this fight. Looking for Golden, not wasting any time with the bomb plant. Goes to check short, Golden. Whoa, so close to getting spotted here. Jiggle peeks the angle, gets the information, and now they know. Bomb plant coming in for Woxic. Smoke is down, the Golden Boy of Fnatic, looking to keep their heads above water, looking to keep them in this. But now it's him on the clock, and Woxic is repositioned. Off into the apartments. If there's one thing this man is, it is fast. Golden's not being given anything. He's hoping that Woxic's still here, but he's not. He's up and left this bomb site. Golden, what choices do you even have? Throws a smoke on the bomb, knows that Woxic's up in the apartments. The 10 second lead oh, no. use, and he's on it. Woxic, uh -oh. oh dear, now's not the time for style. Now's the time for hitting shots. Ah, he's taking the 10 seconds. He's taking the 10 seconds. He's going to get it. Golden Balls of Steel up on the stage in 11th round for Fnatic. A messy round for either side. I don't even know if I should be feeling happy about that one. Yeah, the patience for Golden is ridiculous, right? Just sat around along all round. And to have the balls to go over the 10 second stick as well is ridiculous. That's something the grenade missing Carrigan though to finish off the job. Golden flashing a repeat for Flusher, but not keen to go for it. These smokes are coming down now for Mouseports. They're looking to commit. Flusher, he's going to have to deal with this. Karen's actually in the CT spawn. He smoked off deep. He won't let Fnatic come in for this retake. And now Mouseports can just wait and see, wait and play around Carrigan. He's got a kill. JW in the gap in the smoke. Flush has got to turn around. And that gives room for Mouseports to move in. But they've lost their man behind enemy lines. There's still two Look at the players bomb. here. The bomb's leaving. The bomb's up and out, but it's left the B-bomb site. It wants nothing to do with it. They've left Frozen here to try and do what he can, and he's shrunk on down, shrunk into the ground. Meanwhile, Rops is stood taller than ever over towards the A-bomb site. Sure, they deal with Frozen. Sure, they get it back now into their advantage, but the bomb plant still found for Maus. Woxic, he's looking to try and make up for his mistakes in the round prior, and now this time he's got Chris J alongside him. Fnatic once again throwing into this retake. Brolin looking to be the first man in, trying to secure this opener for Fnatic, but he is not ready for Chris J. Woxic off the angle, gives a bit of room, but Fnatic, they're running out of time, and time is the least of their worries. Golden, sure he gets one, but there's no defuse today. He runs, and he runs for the hills. Map point for Mouse Sports, 15 to 11 as they close out that two on three. Oh, and they even lose everyone to the bomb as well, but Golden, you would have believed it at Harry. One on two, he did it in the previous round in the same situation, but not fancying his, his chances, not fancying his options. What a fake for Mouseport as well. I don't think that was even the game plan coming into it. They had no one on that A site. That was just a mid-round decision by Carrigan. He knew he forced rotations. He knew that Mal uh, Fnatic had sent players through that CT spawn after he gets traded from killing JW. Doing the matter, that's four players on B for Fnatic and Mouseports is just going to double back into the MTA. From getting Fna Fnatic's map pick under their belt, Brolin's going to try and set Crims up. The flashbang is perfect from Brolin. And now Carrigan dropped. He's got to try and lead his motley crew from beyond the grave. Four players still in the server. The mastermind, the puppet master pulling the strings. 
They've decided to go for an A play. Crims wrapping back ground, always a nuisance with this SMG. Might disrupt this play at long. Brolin vested down in the pit. And this A bomb site crumbling around Fnatic. JW's bought low. He's forced out. He doesn't get to have a say in whether or not this bomb goes down. And a double AWP in the retake for Fnatic. To say it's less than ideal is the understatement of the century right now. Bomb plant coming in, mad advantage for Maus. Fnatic, surely there is no way back into this round. That smoke as well, that's just salt in the wound. Insult to injury here for Fnatic. That choke point turned into a wall and Golden, he's gonna have to break it down. He's got a smoke to at least give him a bit of room to maneuver coming back into this site, but you were already getting desperate if you're Fnatic. That's a kill, but it's traded. Rops coming in big and Woxit covering from the balcony as well. It's done. It's the first map over and completed by Mouseport. 16 to 11, they will take it away from Fnatic. As they sit 1-0 up in this best of five grand final series. Oh, start is fast for Grims as he finds two down the pop dog. Mouseport's looking to quick split this out of bomb site. Dink for Carragher, he can't convert it. And backing up is Golden with another advantage. It's a four on one. Yeah, they've certainly fumbled a few rounds back on Inferno, but a four on one versus an armorless Chris J. That is not happening. We wanted to see a few more players stepping up alongside Brolin, a couple of the usual suspects, and this man is one of them. Heavily invested in four mouse sports. We're gonna see a lot of them on the T side of this map. Those long sight lines really favoring the scopes. And JW's got one of his own. He's taking a scout on top of the train. Brolin finding first blood with a grenade. That's a fantastic way to start off the round of your mouse sport, if you're fanatic rather. Dunked in the T con. Kerrigan out of the picture already, and Rops, he looks to go back towards Pop Dog, but already a man inside of that position. Crims looking to force a fight. He's got a smoke down as well, playing the gap in it. Mouseport's just putting pressure all over the map right now. Rops, he's in the smoke. Crims should know it. I think he just heard it, and Rops, it's going to fade in his favor. He gets away with a kill. That is ridiculous. Cheese from Rops as Mouseport's take the advantage, and now into the site. A site, they set their sights. Flush a court on B, and Rops can just go running into there as well. He knows that Fnatic uh, might afford to over-rotate, and that they will. Frozen catching JW, moving towards the backtracks, and Brolin has been caught by the smoke. He's down on B, but Rops is not. Yeah, this bomb is nowhere near this side of the map for Mouse Sports. They're still being so methodical. You know it's Brolin you're up against. You've seen the devastation this man can, can wreak on your enemy team. But uh, he's not going to be given a chance in this one. So that extra little bit of money kept here for the CT side. No one's going to be taking him down to the end. Mouse Sports goes straight for that gun. He had a scout in the previous round. Woxic doesn't quite have the money for him. And Fnatic actually double orbs. It's a round number five. I like the confidence. I like the confidence. That's a big investment to pull in for Fnatic, though. And the worst case scenario is that you put an AWP in the hands of Woxic early on. Looks to force fights onto Rops. He's gone through that smoke. Oh, dear. Brolin getting that kill. And now Mouseports have to elevate the pace. But to their dismay, Brolin with two. Woxic, he gets an entry, but he can't hang around. He can't wait for Brolin to give him a repeat. That's down to Carrigan instead. The wall bank getting traded through. And Brolin is low. Woxic has to get this plant as well. 12 seconds. And Brolin won't stop. That's his third kill of the round. The bomb getting dropped in the open and this is surely done frozen he can find the kills but there's just not enough time fanatic on the edge of four rounds and they'll take it as well gun save for frozen and excellent work for brolin as well i continue straight back into the action no more waiting around after that tactical pause and mouse sports they've got the orp on Moxic as well arm to the teeth Pass play out yard but he's gonna get caught golden taking first blood here for fanatic that's an excellent start that's exactly what they needed Woxic spawn not good enough for mouse sports carrigan can't retrieve that orb either it got blown away by the grenade fanatic making sure that nothing here can be exploited by mouse sports this early kill has allowed Flusher to be solo on that B-bomb site. Fnatic starting to get re-aggressed as Mouseports move behind these smokes. Could be a spam for Crims. Carrigan's waiting on the other side of that sandwich smoke. About to fade. And oh, Crims, he is tempted. He's really considering this play from Carrigan. And it's not unusual oh, for Carrigan to do this, but Crims has just missed the timing. He's fully oh, fine. No. Carrigan in with one. Crims with the response, though. And where Carrigan takes an inch, Crims takes a mile frozen. 
will get a trade at least or a attempt the equalizer, gets it into a two on three, makes this feel that much more doable for Mao as time could start to be the real problem. And look at Crims going aggressive down through Ivy. Now this is gonna leave him out of action if this site take continues for Mao, but it's the late play. They're putting so much stock in this wrap from Crims. Golden's just gonna hold this pop position. That bomb is navigating its way into the bomb site right now. Frozen pushing on in. Is in a position where he can look to get this bomb down, and it's a pop dog plant as well. Rops never in a position here where he's got to take this fight, so they don't know that Rops resides over in Rops dog. Crims, oh, he's been red, frozen, is looking, has his eyes fixated on this flank. Crims coming on in now. They put so much stock in this rap. They put so much faith in Crims finding something, but Frozen shuts him down. The flank doesn't yield the results Fnatic wanted, and now they've got to pick up the pace. That's where Rop swings on out from the Pop Dog, and with the bomb in his line of sight, Golden taps the bomb. He's off of it. There's no time here, and Rops is going to take him down. Mouse Sports, they'll navigate that two on three post plant excellently. Spamming away, Rops getting digged. That Molly will give Fnatic's, or will give Mouse Sports some control, and Rops drops into the Molotov to take that kill. Talk about balls. I've not seen a man look so comfortable in that position. No one compares to Rops there, and he shows exactly why. Besting Brolin in the head to head. He was dinked as well. He was down to like 30 HP when he went for that play. That's the most ridiculous part about it. His own Molotov and just no fear. That's when you know a player's mastered the position and Rops is a perfect example of that. Now Mouse Sports with an advantage going straight into B Golden. He's gonna lay down the pain from lower. Flusher even getting a grenade and finishing off the job. Rops is dead and Mouse Sports, they're gonna ditch the site. They're gonna go back towards outer. That's their only option right now. That bomb going on a long route round and it is gonna be heard. Crims hears all these footsteps above him. Does he know that there's a man so close though? No, Frozen getting that opening kill and now Fnatic scrambling to get back into this A site. Yeah, Crims believed he, believed he had a few more seconds there. Chris J in the meantime is out through B looking to come in on this late flank. Now this flank won't play into the round at all if this bomb plant is not found from the rest of Mao's. They deal with JW, Chris coming in on the wrap, and there's Flusher deleted, Golden now alone, but he could strip this whole oh. round away, luckily enough, Frozen is one step ahead. And now they've tied it up, four to four here, on their map pick of train, we get the replay of Rops in Pop Dog. Despicable, Harry, despicable. A pimp, he wanted Woxic to be stepping up in this game. He wanted to see that AWP come alive. And while we are early, he's pushed quickly down Olaf. Do Fnatic realize he's making so much noise and gained so much position as well? Roland's watching for this. The spam coming through, and it's fantastic as well. Carrigan going down at the start of the round. Even when Brolin can't see his enemies, he still finds these man advantages for Fnatic. The immediate response is in though. A fast beat oh. play. Chris J taps Golden from the server. Rops has followed up onto Flusher. And now this B bomb plant can be afforded to Maus. Brolin is not slowing down though. There's oh. no breaks on the Brolin trade. And Woxic shut down as well. Brolin, stellar stuff from the young gun on Fnatic as once again he has to be the man to step up. Hey, we're 10 rounds in and they're half through. That can be a problem when you get to these long, scrappy games, these double overtimes like we saw on train yesterday versus Astralis. But you can't plan for failure, or at least you shouldn't. The mouse sports don't. 5-5, five, five. really good round for Brolin, as always here for Fnatic. Dominant for this CT side. Brolin, again aggressive, pushed up. He might find Carrigan with his pants down, grenades in his hands, and Brolin's taking him down, looking for a second. He's found it, of course he has. It's Brolin, any more? And Mouse Sports, they're gonna keep feeding the beast. Eventually, Woxic will tame him and take him down with a second off this AWP. Mouse Sports, they have swung it back into a three on three. Yeah, Woxic's doing the impossible. He's made this one now around that Mouse have some stake in. Crims has tried to aggress back down through Ivy. It's golden up in heaven with the AWP in hand. Our oh, Mouse Sports gonna be ready for this second AWP. Golden, the round is in his hands now. Crims is a little ways away, not going to be able to help out with this initial duel. All that pressure falls to the IGL of Fnatic. And Mouse Sports, they just make the Swedes stew in it. They slow right down, they're not giving up anything as of yet. 
There's the first peak. Now they know it. Oh, sick is homed in on the angle. The third kill, the hat trick, as the Turkish author is trying to make this round a reality for Maus. Hopping around the site now, looking for Crims. 30 seconds, Maus have still got time, and as Crims makes his presence known, down towards Ivy, their attention is focused on dealing with him. This makes this flank from Flusher that much more threatening, that much more scary to the Maus sports side. Woksik seems to consider Whoa. it, missed shot from Flusher, and up against Woksik, you really cannot afford to miss, as the rest of his team have had to find out the hard way. Crims out from Ivy, leading the charge, but he's put in the ground, and Flusher, what can he do here? Woksik in with four, and him and Frozen together get that sixth round for Maus. Beast, it can be a cruel mistress, Golden. He even gets a shot off onto Rops with the AWP, but the glass takes the damage away, and that goes from a, a guaranteed kill to 90 damage. It is traded immediately by Woksik, of course. I feel like if you... there's a chance for Mouse Sports. The rotate is back though as the smokes get lined up. These T's running right in, and there's no smoke on the ramp. Golden finds one. Flusher stalling at the back of the site, but he is being wrapped as well. Carrigan coming in from the back line, covered by Brolin. Flusher in the midst of the action, and he goes down to the Deagle. No bomb plant though. Woxit finally getting it down, and he's stuck in a one on three. Oh no, the nades might seal his fate. It's heating up for Woxic and a little too hot under the collar. Fnatic, they'll get this ninth at the end of the first half. Yeah, Flush is faking B. Will that draw rotations from Mouseport? A second man moving over, but now the spot, now the info, and the kill for Brolin. Of course it's for Brolin. Getting that opening frag for Fnatic, as he always is. JW up Ivy as well, and even though there are responsive kills from Mouseport, it's down to a three on three. JW not stopping. Woxic back from that B-bomb site, looking to make havoc, and he just won't get anything done. JW is on a tear on this A site. And Rops is going to need to do it all on his own, fighting towards Pop Dog. He's got the range with this USP, but Fnatic are not giving him a fight. He's been able to pick up a kit, though, from his teammate's body down here towards Ivy. He had plenty to choose from. There's a smoke there that he can look to retrieve, and there's that first kill onto JW. Rops, he came to this event saying anything less than first place for Maus wouldn't be enough. And he's looking to try and prove that here. Time is ticking away and time is his biggest enemy right now. Smoke on the bomb, baits that first peek out. Rops is sticking it and Flusher lands the dink. Fnatic, they're gonna get the pistol round locked on in. They certainly could. These flashes, this utility has got to be so good from Fnatic to nullify all these close players. And here the pistols are coming to life. They've got it into a three on three. They've kept it very, very even here. And the pressure is now on for Fnatic. They're going to fall out from main. They don't want to keep feeding this A bomb site any more kills. Instead, they hope to find solace at B. But this is where Rops resides with that Deagle. Timing not in his favor, but he tries to reposition into this site. Holds the close angle. First kill. Rops doubling. Traded from JW. This bomb needs to go down. There's still 35 seconds. So for the time being, JW's looking for Woxic and oh, puts himself in the firing line for a second, getting this bomb down. It's planted wide, missed shot from Woxic. What? And JW having to cancel that plant. Time is now becoming JW's enemy where he once had plenty. Now he's left with nothing oh, no. and that Molotov has done it. Frozen <laughs> burns him out. This is a great play from Fnatic. They've got the only one man on the site to deal with, but that man might be enough. Rops, two kills down the ramp. The bomb drop off the top of the train, and Woxic is here in the connector as well to make matters worse. Frozen, even finding JW. He didn't look like he was even ready for such a close position, but it doesn't matter. Golden's got to do it all. Grabs the bomb going down the ramp, but Rops falling into his face. Now sports. And they just continue creeping up, calling through this choke point. Carrigan. Flashing in, but he's not going to be playing off the back of that. And that they can avoid the utility. They're just going to speed up the pace. 30 seconds, they've got to go. Carrigan waiting. They line up, but JW gets one. Woxic holding his own with the AWP and Flusher. The one lurk in this round has been spotted as well. Frozen's waiting on that smoke to take this kill. And if he does, things are going from bad to worse. Out of the frying pan and into the fire for Fnatic. Two versus four as they try and piece this round back together. But Chris J, oh. he sees the feet. Crims has been betrayed. What? by those size 10s and Chris J 
not quite able to get the kills, but it's the damage, it's the information, it all adds up. It's all going in favor of Maus. There's the killing blow onto Crims. And now just JW left. He's going on the flank of a lifetime, trying to go through Ivy, but they're already on this bomb. Mouse Sports is sticking it. They've got this round locked in, and the best JW can do is save that orb. Oh, Carrigan, oh. they line up over in main. And Fnatic's chances in this round have already been thrown out the window. Carrigan has taken it away from them. He's taken oh. matters into his own hands. And main belongs to Finn Anderson right now. He's looking for even more. These smokes have been his friend. They've been his ally. And he's not leaving them behind. Golden. The last remnant of Fnatic in this position, looking for the trade. It's the clash of the big brains. Golden versus Carrigan, and Carrigan hit. Oh, oh they go back to back. But of course, it's Carrigan to win it out. Flush an hour alone. In the blink of an eye, he is the last man left for Fnatic. A 1v5 flusher. He's given us many clutches of all sorts of proportions. But this is not one that Mao Sports are going to give away. Oh dear, Carrigan's even hunting for the ace. He's hungry for it. Carrigan wants all five, and now he knows Carrigan's going to get it. The ace for the IGL and take a bow. Three rounds up and an ace for the one day on the stage. You just love to see it, don't you? He didn't even see those three players as well coming in towards Tigon, just spamming smokes. He's a crowd pleaser, Harry. And no signs of stopping. Fnatic, have they got anything left in the tank or have they run out of gas here? Ten rounds, uh, all looking for a five round comeback past this round. If they could pick this up, that would be incredible, but there's nothing pointing in that direction. JW looking to force a gunfight, but he might get peeked from upper. Roxic winning that duel as well, and Robs can peek out off the back of it. He gets tagged, but he gets back safely. Down to six, Roxic Molotov on the ramp keeps Fnatic out of this B site, and there's an early rotation as well. Fnatic are just looking out of ideas. They, they have tried everything and always come up short. This round, they've already got a man down. And so they're bowing out of B. It's back to the drawing board. There's a minute and 10 seconds left. That is all they've got. Time is their only ally here. As they hope that someone on the Maus side, gets a bit overzealous, a little too confident, a little too soon, and Carrigan is exuding confidence right now. Oh, a missed shot from Crims. Carrigan's allowed to get away. That could have been the four on four. That could have been a, a turnaround in this one for Fnatic. But it never comes in, and now Chris J is primed, ready, waiting to go up on top of these trains. They've just about gotten past. They didn't see him on the first peak, and they wish they did. Flusher falling, Golden shortly after. Chris J immovable at the A-bomb site, and it's only Brolin left. He's picked up the orc to try and give this a go. He's not usually the man with the big green gun. And with 20 seconds left, this can't be another save for Fnatic, surely. There's just no opportunities for Brolin. He's gonna try and get up into these upper halls, but this is looking like the save. This is looking like Fnatic giving map point over to Mouse Sports, and they're hunting for this orb. They don't wanna let him get away. Brolin running shoes on, and he is sprinting right now. All of Mouse on his tail. They're kind of having to face that problem now head on because Brolin, he can't keep delivering these world-class performances. With no one else there around him, Oxic. Uh -oh. oh, he's going aggressive. He's tired of waiting and he finds the first. Crims will get the trade at least. That's a good position to be in for Fnatic, right? You go one for one, you at least guarantee that trade. The AWP is gone. Mousebots don't have a second on Chris as well. He's on the Krieg. Carrigan just moving out. Roland's missed the timing, but he might be able to still get this kill if he commits. He will not. Fnatic slowing it down. They know this is their best opportunity to actually win a round that they've had in so long. And well, the alternative is you're going to Mirage. Cool, calm, and hopefully collected. Fnatic waiting for Mouseboss to throw in some aggression down Ivy. That's not going to be the case right now. Bomb still in the halls, but he's going to be joining Fnatic back for another one of these TCOM pushes. Every one of these TCOM pushes have just been slaughtered by Mouseports on this yard. And again, with three players here for Mouseports, they've got the numbers. I say that, Chris, beginning a rotation towards inner. Frozen going to be playing close instead. 
Carrigan back down Ivy with that AWP. Fnatic, 25 seconds, they've got to go. This could be the big frozen moment. This could be him stopping this round, but no, Brolin is one step ahead and frozen is dealt with. They've got themselves this A bomb site almost. There's just two players left to get past Carrigan, an unknown entity, an unknown factor. Flicks on down. Carrigan oh, no! drops the bomb. Seven seconds. And he's done it. He's stolen it from Fnatic. The map goes the way of Mouse Sports. They go 2 and 0. Oh, and they are not budging. They give Fnatic just one round in that second half. 2 and 0 oh up right now. And map number three, well, this could be where it all falls apart for Fnatic. We've got to see a vintage looking Swedish squad. This pistol round is already chaotic, but it is Fnatic finding this man advantage, getting into A. They just might find another pistol round here over on this T side. They've been so good at getting these. They've been so good at picking them up. It's only Rops and Woxic left, but they have secured this two on three. Rops has been spotted, dealt with by JW, and it is just Woxic left now in the hot seat. Yeah, no chance back into this one, you would assume. JW finishing it off, and nice and early start for Fnatic. I mean, we talk about this potentially be do being done in three, Harry. But they can't afford to flip against them this time. Now Sports waiting on this A site. Noise being made by Flusher. He's going to flash his way through. The rest of Fnatic coming in through Connector. It's going to be that A split. Glock out for Flusher, already tagged by the scout. Chris J looking to finish off the job, but Flusher has fallen back. That's info here for Mouse Sports. They should know it's a B play. Oh! Well, goodbye, Flusher. But the rest of the kills are coming in. Actually, I say oh, that. Frozen, he's got the ball oh, here. No. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Fnatic, this was their round. This should never be escaping them, but the scout is doing damage. And it's doing even more than that. It's only Brolin left. And Mouse Sports, they had nothing into this round. They had absolutely nothing outside of that Mac 10 and Frozen. And the scout on Woxic, that was all they bought with them. And it might be enough. Brolin now left to clutch. He's been so good in these situations for Fnatic. But this one, the bomb held down by Frozen. He'll cement it with three. They go into that with nothing. And they leave it with a round under their belt. Fnatic, they've converted a pistol. Nope, no, they haven't. There's still that third round. There's still that eco. And Chris J finding one taps with USPs is exactly how that round turns out for Mouse Sports. How on earth does that go so wrong? Fnatic, you could see they were going for that B play. But they had two players still splitting on that A site. Still trying. Fast B play for Fnatic, they're gonna go storming into this site. Carrigan is here though, at the back of the site, assisted by Frozen for a kill. Frozen doubles it before the train is eventually in. Flusher, he needs one more. He needs to clear out the only man left out on this B site, but Carrigan is hiding inside of the smoke and Rops is coming for support. That's the bomb drop. Mouse Sports in a huge advantage and Fnatic still with Flusher committed, but all these rotates are in. All the players are here for Mouse Sports and it is just that aforementioned man, Flusher, in an undoable clutch. Yeah, there's just so many bodies. There's just so many players here for Bowers and Flusher. No chance there. It's still in the hands of Woxic. He's still fighting middle. Gone fast towards the connector. Quick shot going to bail while he still can. Fnatic are moving in closer. And Roland's looking for this killing blow. Damage done either way. Rops not being discreet about his presence. And this oh. little one way gives Brolin the opener. Quite the scalp to find on the other side of things. Woxic now taking up position down towards Connector. He's got Frozen as well, looking to boost Carrigan by the looks of things over on Catwalk. And that's going to give them some vision down into mid. Carrigan hungry to take this man advantage away from Fnatic. He'll remove Crims and Mouse Sports. Now this one is looking good for them. Fnatic terrified about this short control. Managed to get a foothold in Connector. They've got a bit of ground to work with. Now Sport is doubling up over in the window room. There's going to be three players at this A site so quickly. And Chris J with an AWP inside of A. We've seen him deliver huge moments from this side of the map before. He's looking now to do it again. Ooh. Missed shot the first time around. Oh, uh -oh. and the second. Chris still hidden, still waiting. Flusher though, at baiting that shot out, allows JW the kill. And Frozen and Woxic, they've got to try and retake this site. But now that it's a two on three, with these two players low for Fnatic, Mouse Sports, they're definitely going to be tempted at the very, very least. Well, that money could have been everything if it cut off a player here. But going under the balcony, Fnatic have no one in position. 
They couldn't have run through it if Mouse Sports used it to tap that bomb, and hopefully they'll do so soon, but it's not looking like a commitment. Frozen is really taking his time to come through the jungle. Mouse Sports have got to get on this defuse soon. Woxic is going to have to stick it if they want any chance at this round. Triple ramp set up for Fnatic. Tap on the bomb. Scoped on the palace, but Fnatic are coming out from the ramp. They've cleared it. They know it's a fake, and they're just going to win the fight. It's Golden going in for Woxic, and that will be the save for Frozen, or at least secure for Fnatic, but I don't know if it's going to get away. That bomb is certainly going to kill it after time, and no gun here at least for now. Fnatic moving in through middle here. Top mid smoke gives him that cover, gives him that cross, and into window Rops goes, but he's going to get double naded. Avoids significant damage. Carragher missing that shot, and it might just have to fall off for now. Walks in with the other warp in B, and what a shot onto JW, jumping on top of the cabinet, gets away with a frag. Mouse Sports man advantage to start this one off, but still remember, they are not favored when it comes down to these gunfights. These orbs are going to have to do heavy lifting in round number eight if Mouse Sports want to pick it up. Important to note, Frozen's actually aggressed in the apartments, gets the oh. information, and information's half the battle, the other half of the battle, well, it's the battle, and Carrigan is winning that right now over on the A side of the map. Oh no, it can't happen to Fnatic again. They had the firepower advantage. They had seemingly everything going their way heading into this round, but the Orps on Woxic and Carrigan have done enough to make Mouse Sports feel like the favorites. Carrigan flashed off from ramp, and this has given a bit of a gap for Fnatic to try and exploit. They look to get into this A bomb site now. Rotations are already thick and fast for Mouse Sports. And that's thanks to Frozen's flank in through the apartments. Mouse know exactly what the game plan is here. Oh, what? But Flusher dealing with two. There's a smoke there, by the way. And now Fnatic with the bomb down. They'll remove another. Rops, Frozen trying to salvage this round, trying to make something of it. All the damage those orbs done. Cannot be for naught. Oh, the spam as well, but not going to be able to take down Crims, who is on full health. This rap coming in late, and they're getting wrapped as well. Flusher out in middle. Do they realize the bomb's yet to be tapped? The kit needs to be picked up. There's two on the ground, but they're just going to 10 seconds stick it, and they've read the position. Flusher trying to stop that defuse. They line up, and he can't do a thing. Three health for Mouse Sports. Three health across two players, and they will get that retake instead from Flusher, I mean, two kills as well from that palace position through smokes and almost the clutch. Talk about giving JW a taste of his own medicine as well, right? Ooh. With that shot from Woxic, Carrigan lighting up the server with the AWP initially. Ridiculous. No idea how Flusher yeah. does that. Yeah, he play, that's a great grenade though. JW gets dunked. Carrigan spotting. If he jumps again, he might be up for the chopping block. That flash is good. It keeps him back. And he goes for the fight, but Brolin gets the opener. Frozen on the site with two on the bench. That scope eluding some of his vision. Flash gets a chance. And Frozen stripped it away. The bomb dropped on the ground. And Mouse Sports maybe another round to their name. But JW doesn't want to give it for free. It's Golden alone. And Mouse Sports will meet them inside of the site. Taking liberties and taking round 6 5 up on the CT side right now and back towards middle. Fnatic set their sights. Rops is going to meet them. Oh, everyone's blind and including Rops, he'll go down to Crims, who was turned from the flash. Woxic moving into the connector and that Molotov makes some noise. Woxic doesn't care and he's going to fight two kills. Fantastic stuff for the Turkish author. It's going to turn the tide of battle for Mouse Sports, but quickly traded by Crims as Carrigan goes up and over on that boost. Fnatic still winning fights, but not for long. Chris has found Flusher coming out through that ramp. And now, where do you go from here if you're Fnatic? Looking like they want to try and attempt this mid boost. JW is going to be the man throwing up into the window, but you can already see Woxic repositioning, gets caught out. JW fast into CT, but Frozen is one step ahead. Grims has got to go back and get this bomb before he even begins the journey to a bomb site. 45 seconds for Grims. And the world against him. He'll sneak, and he'll sneak. Manages to get down the catwalk. 25 seconds on the clock now. Crims trying to deliver. This B bomb site all game long has been at the mercy of Frozen. Crims has got to get past this final boss. Oh. 
trying to catch the timing. 10 seconds. Crims either needs this kill or the bomb plot. Oh, he's and there's playing. just no time. Frozen's played this so damn well. One step ahead. Just being so aware, hiding in that doorway, not letting Crims get aggressive and find that kill that would have given the chance to Fnatic. Woxic huge kills off the AWP as well. This double orb setup for Mouse Sports is proving to be a tantalizing beast. Chris J on that second orb finding kills as well. And round after round, Mouseports are piecing them together on this. A play for Fnatic bursting through the palace. It's a waterfall. Brolin, crucial entry. Mention his name and he shall appear. Just like that, he disappears. Chris finds him from the back of Spawn. Got to get out, but he can't go anywhere. Crims firing a bullet through that smoke. And Fnatic are allowed the bomb plant in the A site. This is a tough retake. Woxic looking to take matters into his own hands. And he's forced to kill anymore. Woxic's got two. And the retake well and truly on for Mouseports. Yeah, Frozen coming in to try and help out. JW and Crims in the firing line. Woxic already lit up the scoreboard. Both these players are smoked off and Woxic taps that bomb. Fnatic, they might have to commit to this peak. They go through Ooh. and Woxic is primed and ready to go. JW, the last man left, his running shoes are on, but he's just not fast enough. And now Sports, another one, nine to five. As though more things needed to go against Fnatic. Now you can add this all-star performance from Woxic to the tally. He can barely see them, Harry. Just smoke shots for Woxic, making it look easy. And Mouse Sports, well, it's feeling easy right now. 9-5 up, could they get double digits at the end of the first half? That would be perfectly positioned to take this third map, but right now it's a brawl in middle. Trade back and forth, Woxic and Crims. JW's been dropped as well. That AWP has been removed for the picture here for Fnatic. No one even picking it up. No one wants to go with that scope. Especially not with Carrigan on the other side, the Dak Dak. Ready to lay down the pain. Fnatic don't know what they're walking into. And they might never even get a chance. Carrigan, auto sniper, <laughs> full on disrespect in a 10th round for Mount Sports. They close it out. While they certainly sound like it, Mount Sports. Setting up over in the apartments, and they're looking to get this one over here and now. Chris J gonna be the first man in. Golden dropping down, tries to give himself a one-way, but it's a one-way ticket punch for Golden. Flusher, good for one. Trying to defend this site from the catwalk. Doing what he can, but those numbers are getting punched in. Frozen is wrapping round. He gets spotted. Flusher deals with him. Oh, Flusher's coming alive. And Mouse Sports, they're able to get it back. Chris J, the only man left standing though, as the trades have gone left and right, and Brolin will lock in this round for Fnatic. The pistol once again. Well, yeah, you've got to worry about these forces as well, right? You've got to worry about the buys from Mouse Sports. They've been so good at stopping from uh, Fnatic from converting these pistols. Pushed up once again, faster B play for Mousebots, not waiting for anyone. Flush is fully blind, and Mousebots are on the site. Golden can't find a fight because the smokes are in his face. That's the flank, and Robs gets a kill. Golden, only man here, does drop that bomb. Can he stand the test of time any longer? No, Chris has wrapped him, and Mousebots with a charge. Swiftly taken away by Crims. That bomb is yet to be secured, and Brolin's coming in from Cat. Yeah, two on two, the action gonna subside for just a moment here at the B side of the map. Crim still putting pressure on, still making his presence known back towards market. Woxic tries to get Ooh. this bomb down. Chris J deals with Crims, and now it's Brolin in the hot seat. I think he just got spotted there by Chris J, and now they know where the young gun is. He's flying solo, and Brolin, it all to do. Ooh. Chris J keen to take the fight, the hat trick. 3k from Chris as well, even peeking out with 10 HP to find the final kill. He's not been needed to step up in this series so far. Mousebots have not been in any rough positions, but Chris, a world-class play from a world-class player. This is the buy from hell for Fnatic, and they've got to make it work. They have no other option. Mouseports a fast play. They know no utility can stop Frozen from getting up the catwalk and get up. He shall. Oh, the spam, though, Crims, through the smoke, getting that kill. It's still going to be the B play for Mouseports. They've lost one leg of their split. Is this a read for Fnatic? It certainly seems to be the case. Coming out through that window room is Flusher. He's going to go and reunite with his teammates, reinforce that B bomb site. And that's exactly where Mouse Sports end up. Yeah, Carrigan, first man in, first man down as well. JW from beneath the window. 
Looks to pull the rug out from beneath the feet of Mal Sports. And hey. JW delivers for Fnatic. It's far. Yeah, nice stack from Fnatic as well, right? Having crossfires, not giving up picks to a players in the apartments, just hiding, making Mal Sports commit. And with no flank coming up the catwalk, positions like JW's will go unchecked. Utility towards this A site from both sides. Mouseboard's going again for this set piece. Brolin once more close on ramp has got to do it all. Yeah, flashed in. Brolin trying to deliver. Oh! And Brolin gets three. Oh! No! He takes them all down with him. And now only Rops is left, but he's still putting up numbers. Oh dear. You thought Brolin's heroics might be enough. And indeed they are. The ace for Brolin. Up on the big stage to get that ninth round for Fnatic. Trying to figure out how to seal the deal, how to get across the finish line. We know that these Carrigan rosters have had trouble with that before. <laughs> but now is not the time nor place for those ugly thoughts to come creeping up again. Stuff him down. Smoke down. Crim's looking through one of his own as well. The mouse board's so slow in the middle area, just giving time for Woxic to work this AWP to look for a pick. A default in round number 26. Window smoke coming down, denies any chance of JW if he were to be there, but he's still up on catwalk, and he's gone from catwalk. Oh, good trade back from Flusher, but Carrigan is keen to keep mouse sports in the lead. In the meantime, Rops might have just found a gap. He might have just found a hole, and if there wasn't one, he's made it. He destroys Brolin on that peak. The rifles that were present in this round for Fnatic have been dropped. Flusher, while well, he's able to retrieve one, the AWP now picked up. That's what he's going to try and do the damage with, and he's just backed away. Frozen has caught the timing, the timing of a lifetime now into this A bomb site. Flusher is none the wiser. The bomb plant found for Maus. An AWP and a Deagle in the retake. Fnatic, they lose Golden and Mouse Sports. They're going to reach map series championship point here as they pick up this 15th round in an overwhelmingly dominant fashion. And this AWP in Flush's hands, this AWP on his back, that is all Fnatic have left. And they might not have it for long, Harry. Rops is on the hunt. This man wants to taste one more kill, but Flusher not giving it away for free. Won't go down without a fight. It's something that Fnatic have, at least in that follow-up round, but it's not a lot. 15 to Mouse Sports. One more round. Seemed like the villain yesterday, but now for everyone watching in the arena, he carries the hopes of Danish CS. In this crowd. Not leaving anything unchecked, unburned, unmollied. Brolin close in that smoke. He's going to get spammed. Does dodge it somehow. If he can get flashed in, that'd be great. But Carrigan comes through the smoke. Frozen killing his teammate, but he takes the trade as well. Mouse spots in a four on four. Moving through this site. This orb needs to do it all. Missed shot from Flusher. Given a second chance, and it's taken away. Mouse spots one kill away from doing it. It's JW on the wrap. And surely this is theirs, surely this is a Mount Sports series. They fight through the lower bracket. They manage to go the distance and they get it done in three. You can see how much this means to Mouse. The champions here, they crush Fnatic from beginning to end. Mouse Sports were in control. They fight the good fight, they talk the good talk. And here in the grand final, they showed they've got what it takes. Commiserations to Fnatic, man. They had a great tournament. Brolin really showing his worth as such a young player, hungry for these championships. And while they took it back in Malmo, they won't take it here in Denmark. Mal Sports, a new team to be on the Intel Grand Slam, looking to make matters worse for others in the future. 2020 is going to be so exciting for this roster. Oh, it definitely is. Mao, as they came into this saying they were going to win it, and they've done exactly that. And now this same crowd that rallied against them yesterday joins us in celebrating the kings of Odens. Ladies and gentlemen, your season 10 Pro League champion, Mao Sports! Let's have
have a bit 